Hello, my name is Isam Khaled Aziz and I am a 13 year old in grade 8. Today I will be telling you more about the science behind rainbows. Well, why did I want to do this anyways in the first place? Well, I wanted to do this because I wanted to take part in the Doctor of the Slum Science Fair as well as answer a bunch of questions which I had answered for a very long time. Well, how did I get interested in this topic? I got interested in this topic by always seeing a rainbow when I was little and never actually taking the time to actually answer the basic questions. Well, why does a rainbow appear? Where does it appear? How can it appear? When can it appear? Why is the rainbow an arc? And so on and so on. But don't worry, if you want to be a rainbow expert, this video is for you because I will be answering all those questions just for you. So the procedure of today's experiment will be starting off with a one experiment, then the basis of the questions, and then another experiment ending with the conclusion. saw the experiment that I just showed, based off of that, how does a rainbow appear through water? Well, sunlight, when it enters water droplets in the air, it bends at each angle called refraction. Well, let me show you. Oh, well, here, when you have the sun, then you have water droplets in the air everywhere which means the moist, the air is moist. So you have the sun, water droplets, and when you have a person standing in front of the sun, well, then sunlight, when it enters each water droplet, it splits up bending at each angle. Called refraction. Then it comes out, splitting up all the colors slowly, slowly, which then is shown to the human eyes. Well, now it's not going to bend at any angle anyways. It's going to bend around at the angles around the human. When sunlight enters, as it bends on each angle around the human, or a shadow, that creates the rainbow arc. But first of all, there's one question that we have to answer. Well, sunlight is white light, right? And when it enters a water droplets in the air, they can't just turn into colors, right? Well, sunlight isn't actually white. That is what is prior to the human eye. Sunlight is actually all the colors. We can't just see it because sunlight are heat rays. If we were to see all the colors of the rainbow, the heat rays, we would end up seeing warm places, cold things, and whatnot which we don't need to see. But how come we can see this color and this color and this color? Well, those aren't actually heat rays. These are foam, fabric, other things. So then that question has been answered. Well, why is a rainbow an arc? A rainbow isn't actually isn't an arc. A rainbow is a full circle. We can only see an arc because that is what uh, we that is because the horizon comes in the way. Well, if you are want to see a full rainbow, a circle, then be sure to go on a plane on a very sunny day and you will see the rainbow as a circle because a horizon won't come in the way.
Well, does each color of the rainbow have its has its own heat? Well, actually, yes. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Well, all you need for this experiment is some gummies. I chose red and green. Some filters. You can use plastic and color that. And any source of light. I'm using a flashlight on the phone. So I have my torch. I have my lens. So let's start off with the red lens. All you do have to place it on. And then shine it through the gummies. You see, it doesn't really shine through the green gummy, but if you bring it to the red, it passes through both. And let's show with the green filter. See, it passes through the green one, but not really the red one because it reflects off. Now, based off of that experiment, each light absorbs its own color. For example, green leaves on a tree, when sunlight shines on them, green leaves, they only absorb the green color of the sun, the green rays, which means it takes only a certain amount of heat. If you were to wear white outside, white clothes or anything white, that would take the least amount of heat. But black would take a lot, the most heat. Why? because that is all the colors mixed. So each color has its own heat. Now, ending off with the conclusion, well, what is a rainbow anyways? A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon, which means it can be explained by science. And it is, a, it is also a mythical representation of itself, because when you go near it, you can't really see it because it reflects around you. You can't touch it, you can't go through it, and there is no jackpot at the end of the rainbow. So if you wanna go get that jackpot, let me just tell you, rainbows are endless. And with that being said, I hope you learned something new, took something in, and I hope you can share this with your friends. So, as you know, always, Goodbye.